Yeah, Cajun, there's a lot happening out there. Well, we had a very tiny bit of snow just in the last 48 hours, and that big blast a few days back, we are tracking a couple of different events with multiple systems. Let's start off in the southwest, as always, across the desert southwest today. Fairly mild. There will be some isolated showers we've seen overnight down in New Mexico lifting off, and a few moving all across north central Colorado just to the edges of our high country and out into the plains. But then high pressure will quickly develop, moving through the weekend to bring dry, sunny weather all the way from Albuquerque through Phoenix out to LA and up to San Francisco. Now to the Pacific Northwest. The jet stream's been locked in the same pattern for about two weeks, just bringing systems on shore every 48 hours. And there's no exception as we move through the next few days. One through today, another one moves in through Friday, all the way from Oregon and Washington, stretching up towards Montana. That one will move along the U.S. border. Not major systems. They're quick hits, so they probably won't hinder any travel plans you have to, say, Seattle or Portland. What about the South? If you're headed to places like Florida, like our own Catron, I think you're heading there soon. You may see a few small issues out there. The little, little waves of low pressure create isolated thunderstorms. Friday, that will become an actual system that will lift across the Carolinas with a cold front. If you're planning to travel Friday night to Saturday into North Florida or the Carolinas, there probably will be a few delays there. Other than that, smooth sailing in the South and Southeast. What about the Northeast? High pressure continues to move through while we see a tiny bit of little bitty snow right across the edges of Virginia. No major issues. Once we get to Friday, that same system lifts up the eastern seaboard. Not going to be strong enough to become a nor'easter, but as you can see, by Saturday at 4 a.m., it's lifting right up towards New York, eventually through New England. Could put a few issues in travel for Saturday night into Sunday. Now you know what's happening all across the country.